Alright, hello and welcome back to Payday 2. Today I'm going to be running a stealth build and doing a stealth mission. So let's just do this, let's go ahead and reset it. Go ahead and do my setup for stealth. That, I want that, and I want that. Okay. And I use pistols. I want this, and I want. What else can I get? Okay, so yeah, it looks like that's about that. I've done my basic setup. Accuracy. Let's go ahead and switch my perk thing. Actually, I thought Hitman was all right. I think I usually use Rogue. So let's go ahead and keep the lightweight because I'm good. My, my concealment is phenomenal, but for stealth builds, I always go with the classic Chimano pistols. Nothing fancy, I one-shot people regardless, and I also need to switch to my ECM. So, now it's time to choose the mission. So, I'm not sure which mission I want to do. Let's see. Probably, I mean, I could do a bank, I could do a few other missions. We could just do the bank, you know, it'd be more of a tutorial with the stealth missions to show you how it's done. Uh, actually... I'm making a mistake. If I'm going to do a bank mission, then I need to go down the saw skill tree. So this is fine. This is fine. That's fine. I don't really need that. So technician. No, it's under enforcer. Cool. That's all I need. I can go back to tech, add this, whatever. And I can use this as a secondary. Now I can use the saw. Okay, so now I can do a bank mission. Bank heist gold, deposit cash. Let's just do cash. It's not bad. And on, if you're doing a mission true stealth, the difficulty uh, doesn't really change much about it. There's a certain difficulty. I'm not sure which one that changes the security cameras uh, To make the security cameras indestructible um, on easier difficulties On easier difficulties You Can shoot the cameras to break them so that the the person in the security room doesn't see you But if somebody spots a broken camera or a broken window then they will call the cops and the mission will go loud. Um, I could put a key card down. I think I... Son of a gun! I think I want a vault key. Oh. Yeah, my mouse is a little bit fucked up. It double clicks. Uh, let's go for... Yeah, there's really not much. Not much I want to do. I could get body bags. Actually, I'm going to get body bags. Rear car park. That's good. Alright. Loadout, we're good. Looks good to me. Alright, so I might not get this the first time, but I have some experience doing this, and... And I should be able to show you guys how to do this mission. So what I'm looking for is... You want to find that right there, right off the bat. Is you're looking for the main vault, because you have to get into the vault to beat the mission. Then after that, after that, then I try and locate the security room. So the security room is not in the best of areas. Uh, from here, I can walk around and try to locate either the bank manager or a key card to get into the security room. I hope this doesn't go loud if he sees me in here. So the bank manager likely has that key card that I'm looking for for the security cameras. I could just use my ECM jammer to get in, but that would take too long. There's somebody sitting on this bench, so they'd see me break into that security room. So, 
I imagine it's about time to check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna want to. Can I open this? I can. Ooh, that's fast. A key card. No, I usually buy one and put it here. No security. Try and drop an ECM on that door to open it for me. Hold on, let me just lower my sensitivity. Horizontal. Let's drop that. Let's do vertical. And back. Okay, we're good. That's a little bit better. So now I just have to find a window to kill guards. You have four pages you can use. When you kill a guard, uh, you have to answer the pager because it uh, bumps it and uh, dispatch will then uh, alert the police and uh, then your mission will go loud. You don't want that. So you have to answer the pager. You have to make sure nobody sees the dead body. A few things you got to look out for. There's a guard. This room right here is a window of opportunity. If you see anybody in there, free reign, you can kill them, typically, as long as nobody else stumbles into that room. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm not sure I'm going to do this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut until I can find a key card or an opportunity to kill a guard. All right, I got my opportunity. Oh, dude, I hope I did not fuck that up. All clear here. Must be someone else on the channel. Oh my god. You get down. I need to kill you. I need to bag this corpse. You die. Oh my god. This is a little bit uh, hectic. I need to go take care of that body right now. So I have the key card. This was a little bit hectic. We try to avoid situations like this. So. Double check and make sure I'm recording so you guys didn't miss that. Yep, we're good. Got as many body bags as I can carry. Okay, so now I can get into the security room. Okay, bang, we get it. You want us to pick up a drill. You know the drill. Okay, so one guard down. There's two left roaming. And... Come on. Key card down. Here we go, cameras are out. There's only two guards left. So now I just have to take out the two guards, and um, then I can do s some morally questionable things. Is there anybody up here? Sometimes the guards, they'll start roaming up on the roof. Hmm. So there's one guy there. Can't really take anybody out here. Sometimes they roam. You know, I've had... It doesn't happen often, but I've had a guard walk around the front before. So let me just check this. There's somebody there, if I can pick this. Nope. No, I'll have to come back to that. So yeah, I just gotta... The safest bet is to just wait for that one room you saw me kill the two people in. Okay, so he's there. Can't really do that. If I get a lucky shot, I can shoot him into the corner and nobody will see, but I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm just gonna have to wait. This takes patience. Not sure if I should cut or not. 
I'm just gonna wait here for a minute. Come on, dude, do something. Do something about it. Seriously? Man, I wish I got paid to stand around all day. Oh, there he goes. Is he? Nope. That's fucked up. Oh, he is. Perfect. Everything is clear over here. Now there's only one guard left. So I could risk it for the biscuit and uh, try to take out all the civilians and the guard. I'm not sure if there's somebody in that corner. I could, if I do this right, if there's nobody in that corner, I could take that guard out. Okay. Let me look. There is actually somebody in this corner, so he'd be able to see me kill the friends. So depending on where this guard goes, where did he go? Oh shit, dude. Is he coming my way? Dude, you make it too easy. Okay, well that's that's the mission basically. I have it from here. All I have to do is kill all the civilians. When I first started playing this, I thought uh, you shouldn't kill civilians because it costs a lot. But the payout for the mission uh, gives you a lot more money than uh, you lose. So how could we do this to make it? All right, sorry about the cut. Double check, make sure I'm recording again. We're good. And now, not sure which way I should clear this. I am actually going to go and take out the bank tellers first. Actually, I'm going to take out these guys. Any of these doors open? No, none of these doors are open. Gotta risk it. That's actually a lot harder than I. Oh, this is open. Okay. Okay. Wait, did... Did they seriously not see that? Whoa. You know, that doesn't happen often at all. Wow. I got that on recording. Holy shit. Um... From here, I don't see a panic button in the lobby, so I should probably just go back now, because I can take everyone out. No, I'm, like I said... Sorry, that's another cut. This will be three cuts. The video is not taking too long at all for me to record, but I keep having people come into the room. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and... Son of a bitch. You, you, you. This back area is clear. This guy's dead. I, this is one of those rare events where if I didn't have my saw, I could just leave everybody in this lobby alive right now. Um, am I recording? Yes, I am. But since I have the saw, I intend to clear this bank out completely. So... So we're leaving in like 15 minutes. Okay. Ah, fuck. So many cuts in a short amount of time. Oh my god, what was I doing? Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring this over. Get. I think I am specced into the drill, so this shouldn't be too long. It's really a waiting game. As soon as this drill goes on. Put that down. Start it up. Yep, silent drill. I got the perk. Nobody knows. So yeah, this right here, if you get the vault right here, technically, if you can clear this area out without alerting the lobby, then you can do this entire mission without killing everyone. But I'm going to kill everyone, so... And the saw is so loud that uh, people outside can hear it when you're using it, and they will alert the police, so... An important thing to do is run around and search for roamers. Because by the time I get into that vault, I don't want anybody that's outside of the boundary where I can walk to uh, 
Notice the bank's getting robbed. Civilians are an asset. You kill oh, them, fuck. they're gone. How far away this way? Okay, I can go around, so I have some leeway. Sometimes the map borders change. If I remember correctly. So yeah, now I'm just gonna go and loot everything. Found it. Take up a package through the wall. Take these people's hard-earned money. Oh yeah, since I have the ECM Jammer door perk, I can... Actually, I don't know if you need the door perk to do this, but I'm taking these ATM machines. I'm going to loot everything I can. And while I'm at it, I'll do a quick search for the gauge packages. And... If I run out of things to do or find, then I'll just wait until the drill's done and I'll cut that out so you guys don't have to watch me watch the drill. Uh... Fuck, can I, can I just, can I just hogtie you? Get down. Get down. Ooh, fancy. You get over here. Seriously? Okay. Give that for more people to take hostage. Look for packages. Pretty simple, actually. As soon as you get into the groove of it and understand what you have to do and how to do this, then uh, it makes the level grind so much easier. I'm just going to search around for packages, like I said. That's a corpse. Drill's doing fine. Whoa. It's gonna break any second. Packages can be up here. They can be around any of these vents. I always check under here. I forget. Ah, oh, fuck. I called it. Do I have the perk? I do! Nice. Yeah, if you spec into the uh, drill perks, then you have a 50% chance of restarting the drill with a punch. Ooh, package. Nice. I think that's about that. Oh yeah, and I place an ammo bag in the photocopier here so I can uh, refill my saw so I can get into the safety deposit boxes. But yeah, I'll just cut and wait until, until this is all done and I'm inside the vault. Alright, so we're back and I've opened this inner door. Now it's time to just cart everything out. Bag throwing simulator. cut so many times in this video let's see so yeah now I can just all these gold go through and open up every single one of these as you can see there's quite a few things for me to pick up these are this if you can bring a saw into this mission it is really worth it But if you don't have a drill, it's not worth it to pick all of these. It takes too long. Unless you have like four people and you're willing to wait like ten minutes just doing this. Yeah, see? I mean, if you do that for every one of these, it'll take some time. Oh yeah, and uh, the saw, 
doesn't use ammo if you don't touch anything with it so you can just use it freely but it does run out of run out of ammo fairly quickly and when enemies drop the uh, little ammo packs uh, you it doesn't refill saw ammo so it's really kind of a one-time use sort of thing that's why you got to bring ammo bags that's the only thing that'll actually refill your saw Jeez. We're gonna be rich. Okay, that's it. Gold is heavy. Ah, nuts. So that's four extra bags so far. I think the gold gives you like a half mil. Okay. Alright, time to discard everything out. Yeah, the gold is heavy, I don't throw it nearly as far. If you guys want a description on which perks I use and how I spec, uh, to do missions like this, then let me know in the comments. I can do a separate video on uh, specking your character for certain missions. I'm not the best by any means, but having some tips definitely helps. I'm sure not many people are playing Payday nowadays. At least not many new people. Didn't get all the gauge packages, but <clears throat> I already have. I'm already such a high level and have all the attachments I could ever want. So I don't really need to do it. It's just a little extra thing that I can do. If you uh, if you have the gauge pack and you don't have attachments, the uh, gauge packages are definitely worth picking up. But finding everyone in a mission is not really worth it if it's taking too long. All right, let's see how much money did I make. Offshore five mil, spending one. On my infamy, I get like almost double the amount of experience uh, compared to other people because I'm infamy thirty. Up a few times, I got an attachment. Nice. All right. Well, <clears throat> that was that. That's uh, Bank Heist Cash uh, Stealth. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you want me to describe this build or describe different builds that I use under different circumstances, whatnot. Um, I'll definitely make a video about it or address it in the comments. But uh, yeah, that's about that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.